doing a quick video of what I use as a solar wax melter. <clears throat> I actually just use two medium um, supers and then I use these aluminum foil aluminum cake pans uh, and usually you can get them in a two-pack and then all I have to do is kind of cut the edge out cut the end of it out and that width needs to correspond with whatever you're catching it with so I've been using this at an angle um, if you order um, the licensed solar wax melter it's quite a bit of money but on better be they have replacement trays and this is what they'll give you it's actually plastic and it is not at all a licensed product but what it is is a 12 inch mud pan they do make these in metal and I think even stainless so you could easily make that now this is about 14 inches wide actually at the top edges and it's too big for a eight frame box but if you have a 10 frame box you got a half inch to spare so you could easily cut the end of that out and then the whole thing would would drip right down in there it's just you're limited on the uh, width of the paper towel at that point so and i'm gonna put some of this stuff together and just set it up the way that i usually set it up and then i have a piece of glass over here and i'll show you the way it is when it's set up so here's our setup in the box here this just sets up on the rabbit so the glass can go over top of this and then we set a paper towel over here to filter. And usually when I go through this, it is extremely clean. Um, the only issue that I have sometimes is if I leave this out overnight, there could be ants that get down in that because sometimes there's honey in there and it, it, they just go, for, go after that. And then there could be ants in there, but you can filter that out before you make candles or anything else. Um, just propping the end up with a couple bricks. And then again, this edge is cut to the width of that, um, the container. I think if you have this container in the bottom in the 10 frame configuration you could just put the lower edge directly onto this piece and then just fold it over into it and it would just set down in here um, i haven't made anything too elaborate i'm sure there's some guys really good wood woodworking skills that could do um, some really cool stuff here but i don't have a lot of space so i'm just trying to use some of my equipment for multiple purposes and that's what I came up with, and it was extremely cheap. I really like the, uh, the license setup, but it's extremely expensive. So that's just way too much for what I get out of it. And then I just have a piece of glass. I just, it's plate glass, so I, I went ahead and put tape on the edge to make it a little less sharp, but also make it so that if somebody's walking by it, they can see the edge and don't get hurt by it. And different times of year, um, you're more likely to get more sun down in there depending on the slope. So. Getting closer to the summer, the angles are on the sun are higher, and it'll it'll heat it up quicker. But I'm probably gonna go ahead and set this up, and then put wax in it tomorrow and see what it looks like after a day. A couple notes I had here. I had a originally did this with a metal paint rolling tray, and it actually fit in here just perfectly in an eight frame. Uh, deep, at least a main lake one is wide enough. And I drilled holes in it so it had the slope naturally and then it had the, the pan part, but the metal ended up rusting and that discolors your wax. And so that's not good for making candles or lip balms or anything like that. And I also had this um, coffee can that I've been saving stuff in, but as I, the freeze thaw cycle, if there's any moisture in there, you, you're gonna start getting rusting inside the can and then it'll also discolor your wax. Um, if you if you get different wax this wax is from a previous rendering um, solar wax rendering all right she's eating the wax um, but if you wanted to have clean comb you could separate this out and use this for lip balms and candles and stuff like that and, but this would be good for this could still be good for candles um, you'll, you'll be amazed at how clean this this comes through um, but lip balms and stuff you probably want to use cappings wax and stuff like that and then again, this is an aluminum pan, so this is not gonna rust, so we're not gonna have any issues with that. But it's supposed to be in the mid 70s today, and it's late in the day, so we probably won't get any heat on this. But tomorrow, we're just gonna let this roll and see how it does. If it's on the weekend, I do sort of rotate it with the sun, um, but usually it doesn't take much at all for this thing to get cooking pretty quick, and then it'll melt right out here into the bottom. But I'll go ahead and get the glass on it before we get any more uh, 
bees in here because they smell the honey and everything else that's in there. But that's all. Hopefully I can update this tomorrow. All right, it's been 24 hours. I think it got up, it may have got up to 80 degrees today. And mostly what's left is just cocoon casings. So yeah, all we have left is really cocoon casings. Oh, well, there's my brood reminder label that got stuck in some wax there. Looks like there may be some more stuff, but not a lot, if anything. That's a lot of nasty stuff. But <clears throat> again, this is, this is the way the wax comes out. Um, there's no additional rendering really needed. Um, this is a little yellower and darker than what I usually get out of it, but this is pretty old wax. Um, your capping's wax will be way lighter than this. And then if there was any honey, usually it's on the bottom. It doesn't look like there's much in there, so. Um, that's, that's it. Pretty simple and easy. Uh, that's why I like solar wax melters. It saves you a lot of time and energy. Hopefully this helps somebody put something together pretty cheaply and easily. Just wanted to point out, if you do want to reuse this, the best time to clean this is when it's warm or really hot. And then you just get like a, a hive tool or like a paint scraper or like a, a mudding, mud tool, something, some sort of flat tool, maybe even a spatula. And you can just scrape this stuff right out and then it's usually clean enough. And even if you don't get it super clean, the, the paper towel is what does all the filtering. So. But yeah, that's, that's mostly just cocoons and stuff. Amazing how much, how much stuff in there. And most of this was drone comb and stuff that was between the frames um, for my first kind of clean out there. I let this out another day just to see if there's anything left in there. Uh, it's a little cooler day, but there's, there's no more wax. It got all, it all got out on that first day. Um, I did not end up rotating the box at all to follow the sun, so I guess as long as you get a good path to the sun, it only takes a day to get through that much stuff. Once it starts melting, it all starts melting really quickly. But that's it. I'll probably get it cleaned out and put that in the compost. Yeah.